Well, I first joined very recently, last year, um, and it was sort of in conjunction with um, winning the publication award, which of course was the most wonderful thing that could possibly have happened to me. Um, but I had heard of the CSA um, prior to that through one of my colleagues, a professor college, who works in the theater program and with whom I collaborated a little bit um, in the costume shop there. And her name is Arden Griffin. And she had told me about CSA because um, I often refer to her with costumes um, pertaining to costume and historic costume. And she suggested that I learn more and join CSA. And she told me I was a listener and things like that. And, um, and so then when I won the award, it just seemed like the logical next step. And it's delighted that I joined. So tell us about the award. Well, um, it's a huge honor. Um, I had no expectation whatsoever um, that I was going to win it. I come from a French and Franklin studies background, very literary. Um, so it was um, it was wonderful to 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 have my work legitimized by um, by people working in a discipline that I was, I guess marginally involved in or, or sort of making my way into um, and so it really gave me um, it, it gave me the sort of the, the courage to continue to, to forge ahead with, um, with questions of costume and, and um, doing more interdisciplinary work which is really where I met it. Do you feel like you've created that work now that you've been to the conference? Um, this is my second and I'm just amazed at how warm and um, inviting and welcoming everyone is. Uh, it's, it's a really, really open, open atmosphere. Um, and I've, I have met quite a few people. <laughs> um, it's hard to keep it straight, but I've been collecting business cards. And um, I've had a lot of nice conversations with people. And people have given me ideas. And, uh, I really feel like these people in, in the CSA can help me to refine the, the work I'm doing and you know, ask very pertinent questions and help push the research in ways that um, people in the networks that I'm familiar with maybe can't necessarily do. Now, how would you compare it to having attended other conferences and professional organizations? Well, I think um, the fact that there's so many people from different disciplines here, and you know, I do attend interdisciplinary conferences, um, but this one is um, kind of in a, in, a, in a world of its own, and it's um, uh, the fact that people are uh, working on sort of conceptual things as well as practical material uh, objects, and it can really um, make the, the bridge between those, those types of um, approaches. Um, and I think just being here and having people working in so many different disciplines talking to each other, um, that's how the bridging happens. So I think it's really, um, it's really unique for me. Uh, I really experienced a lot of that. Are you really active in the regional area? Actually, no, I'm not. Although um, I was talking to Jane last night, who is the Mid-Atlantic um, uh, okay. Chair, President. Okay. Yeah, and she's lovely, and so I'm, you know, hoping to get more involved in, in, the, in the regional group. I'm, yeah. I'm slowly doing the same thing, so hopefully I'll see you. That's oh, good. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. yeah. Nice. 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 Was there anything else you wanted to add? Well, I think um, I think it's 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 really a, a good idea if you're interested in costume and material culture studies. Um, fashion, obviously, to consider joining and coming to one of the conferences and seeing um, what you can learn. Um, there, there are so many possibilities. There are so many different types of research going on. Um, there's definitely something for everyone, and um, I really do think that uh, material culture studies is becoming more and more important in the academic world, and um, I, I would encourage people to. to to experience young and old, <laughs> middle-aged, <laughs> all of us. <laughs> yes, absolutely, and it's really worthwhile.